Brothers and sisters, good evening and welcome to evening prayer. Today is Wednesday of the seventh week of the Easter season, and it is the commemoration of St. Vincent of Lorraine. If you're joining us tonight for evening prayer, you can follow us on page 608 in our festal prayer books. O God, come to our assistance. O Lord, make haste to help us. Be present with us, Lord, for it is evening. The day which you have given us is nearly complete. Be our light and scatter the darkness from our midst. Hear us as we lift to you our evening prayer and praise. The day is now past and the evening is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Lord of all, our breath and being come from you, yet our earthly end is dust. As you loose the bound and feed the hungry with the truth of your word, so bring us in your mercy through the grave and gate of death to the feast of eternal life, where you reign forevermore. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, be present now, our hearts in true devotion bow. Your spirit send with grace divine, and let your truth within us shine. Unseal our lips to sing your praise, our souls to you in worship raise. Make strong our faith, increase our light, that we might know your name aright. Until we join the hosts that cry, Holy are you, O Lord Most High, And in the light of that blessed place, For e'er behold you face to face. Glory to God the Father, Son, And Holy Spirit, three in one, To you, O blessed Trinity, be praised throughout eternity. Praise the Lord. Let all I am praise the Lord. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God with my dying breath. Don't put your confidence in powerful people. There is no help for you there. When they breathe their last, they return to earth, and all their plans die with them. But joyful are those who have the God of Israel as their helper, those whose hope is in the Lord their God. He made heaven and earth, the sea and everything in them. He keeps every promise forever. He gives justice to the oppressed and food to the hungry. The Lord frees the prisoners. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are weighed down. The Lord loves the godly. The Lord protects the foreigners among us. He cares for the orphans and the widows, but he frustrates the plans of the wicked. The Lord will reign forever. He will be your God, O Jerusalem, throughout the generations. Praise the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from 1 Peter. And now, a word to you who are elders of the churches. I, too, am an elder and a witness to the sufferings of Christ, and I, too, will share in his glory when he is revealed to the whole world. As a fellow elder, I appeal to you, care for the flock that God has entrusted to you. Watch over it willingly, not grudgingly, not for what you will get out of it, but because you are eager to serve God. Don't lord it over to the people assigned to your care, but lead them by your own good example. And the great shepherd, and when the great shepherd appears, you will receive a crown of never-ending glory and honor. Our reflection this evening 
is drawn from the writings of St. Vincent of Loren from his first instruction. The religion of souls should follow the law of the development of bodies. Though bodies develop and unfold their component parts with the passing of time, they always remain what they were. There is a great difference between the flower of childhood and the maturity of age, but those who become old are the very same people who were once young. Though the condition and the appearance of one and the same individual may change, it is one and the same nature, one and the same person. If, however, the human form were to turn into some shape that did not belong to its own nature, or even if something were added to the sum of its members or subtracted from it, the whole body would necessarily perish or become grotesque or at least be enfeebled. In the same way, the doctrine of the Christian religion should properly follow these laws of development, that is, by becoming firmer over the years, more ample in the course of time, more exalted as it advances in age. In ancient times, our ancestors sowed the good seed in the harvest field of the church. It would be very wrong and unfitting if we, their descendants, were to reap not the genuine wheat of truth, but the intrusive growth of error. On the contrary, what is right and fitting is this. There should be no inconsistency between the first and the last, but we should reap true doctrine from the growth of true teaching, so that when, in the course of time, those first sowings yield an increase, it may flourish and be tended in our day as well. All praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has, has bestowed, bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. God chose us in him before the world began to be holy and blameless in his sight. God decided in advance to adopt us into his own family by bringing us to himself through Jesus Christ. Such was his will, and it gave him great pleasure. So we praise God for the glorious favor he has bestowed on us in his beloved. In him and through his blood, we have been redeemed and our sins forgiven. So immeasurably generous is God's favor to us. God has given us the wisdom to understand fully the mystery, the plan he was pleased to decree in Christ, a plan to be carried out in Christ in the fullness of time to bring all things into one in him in the heavens and on the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the evening we call to you, O Lord, be merciful and hear our prayer. Throughout the ages you have brightened your church through distinguished leaders and holy men and women. Let us always rejoice in the splendor of the truths they taught. You forgave the sins of your people when holy leaders like Moses sought your compassion. Through their intercession, continue to purify and sanctify your holy people. In the midst of their brothers and sisters, you anointed your holy ones and filled them with the Holy Spirit. Fill all those who preach and teach among your people with the same spirit. You yourself are the hope and the strength of our holy teachers and pastors. Let none of them, one at the price of your blood, remain far from you. The shepherds of your church, keep your flocks from being snatched out of your hand. Through them you have given you give your flock eternal life. 
Save those who have died for those, those for whom you gave up your life. And as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are now bold to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from the evil one. Father of loving provision, through the life and witness of Vincent of Loren, you enlightened your faithful people. You made him a pastor of the church to feed your sheep with his word and to teach them by his example. Help us to keep the faith he taught and to follow the way of life he modeled. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For it is you who will redeem me, O Lord, my God. Now, O Lord, dismiss your servants in peace, for your word has been fulfilled. Our eyes have seen the salvation you have displayed in the sight of all the peoples, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in his peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. May God, oh. May God's help remain with us always. And with our loved ones, both near and far away. May God grant to us a quiet night. And a peaceful death. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercies of God, rest in peace. Amen. Rejoice in Christ the Redeemer. Alleluia. For he bore our sins on the sacred tree. Alleluia. He is risen just as he said. Alleluia. Plead for us sinners with your Father. Alleluia. O Son of God, Alleluia. O Son of Mary, Alleluia. O victor over sin, death, and hell. Alleluia. Alleluia, make us to rise up with you. Alleluia.